All right, Pablo Rex here, and today's the day, the last week of season three. Now, I wanted to talk about what to do before season four, and honestly, I'm sorry I'm only giving y'all a week notice, but there's not much I haven't been saying uh, to get done from week to week in the weekly, but if you're looking for some last minute stuff to do uh, for this week, I'm gonna break it down for you. But first, let's go over this. So, Dragonflight Season 3 ends on April 22nd. All right, Dragonflight Season 3 will be ending April 22nd at 10 p.m. PDT, the night before the regularly scheduled maintenance with Dragonflight Season 4 beginning immediately following on April 23rd. Check out a previously published published article for more information here's what to expect as the season transitions so with the season's end rating will qualify for the so this is for mythic plus and rates with the season's end ratings that qualify for the 0.1 percent dreaming hero dragonflight season 3 achievement will be recorded the dreaming hero title and achievement will be rewarded during the weeks following after the season's end so make sure to wait to change factions until after you have received the title. All other Mythic Plus achievements and rewards can still be earned during Dragonflight Season 4 begins. <clears throat> so, Dreaming Hero title cutoff, 10 p.m. Title cutoffs are at 10 p.m. April 22nd. The Monday before the Tuesday. All right, seasonal awards going in with the start of Dragonflight Season 4. Ahead of the curve for Rock the Blazing. So, that's the Drake skin that I was just on. Cutting Edge for Rock the Blazing. Hall of Fl Flame for Rock the Blazing. Reward Flame Slay Slayer of Farrakh title. Dragonflight Keystone Explorer Season 3. Dragonflight Keystone Conqueror Season 3, which gives you the Dreaming title. Dragonflight Keystone Master of Season 3, which gives you the Mount. Dragonflight Keystone Hero of Season 3. Dreaming Hero Dragonflight Season 3, which gives you the Dreaming Hero. hero. That's the top 1%. Or er, 0.1%. Dragonflight Season 3 Master. Emerald Mark of Mastery. So that is the tier piece thing that you can go buy. And then Dragonflight Season 3 Hero, the Emerald Blossom Dreamstone. And then the Keystone Hero Dungeon Portals. So... You have all the way up until reset to get the portals, to get any of the other rewards, all the way up to reset. This, okay. Now, for PvP, with the season's end, it will no longer be possible to earn PvP seasonal rewards titles or Dragonflight Season 3 rankings. Okay. It's weird that they face this, but they're talking about the Gladiator title. Honestly, they're only talking about the Gladiator title because seasonal PvP wards going away with the start of Season 4. It's pretty much everything, so let's go over it. So, again, you can do these all the way up till Reset. Combatant, Dragonflight Season 3. Combatant 2, Dragonflight Season 3. Challenger 1, Challenger 2, Dragonflight Season 3. Rival 1, Duelist, Gladiator, which gives you the Transmog set for, at Rival, the Illusion at Duelist, the Gladiator Mount at Gladiator, and this is for threes. Apparently, you can only get it for threes. Verdant Gladiator, which is the title. That cutoff is the night before. Elite Dragonflight Season 3, which is the Cloak and Tabard. Legend, which is the Solo Shuffle, which gives you the Pennant. And Verdant Legend, which is the title. Again, that is cut off the end of the season um but yeah so that's all the main stuff okay so i'm just gonna show you that stuff in here see where i've gone um the dreaming of achievements they're already feats of strength but those are gonna be unearnable for season three we're gonna get a new season four one also yeah the, the all the dreamings so that's yeah that's it for there 
And then the other stuff that is going away with the season, let me tell you, is currency. So, dreaming crests, all your crests will continue to stick around, according to the PTR, okay? But your flight stones, okay, your bloody tokens, your honor, and your conquest will all reset, okay? So at some point this week, dump your flight stones, dump your conquest, dump your honor, and spend your crests, and spend your tokens, all right? So let's see what you can use them on. So. If you do M+, only if you do M+, sadly, you can dump flight stones into this equipment chest. So you can try to get some mog you're missing, or hold on to the chest after reset, after the new season starts, you can open it and get some money. All right? You also wanna spend all of your tokens of merit. So all your tokens from the vault, Spend them here, get some gold, get some crests for upgrades for transmog, if you want that. Otherwise, just dump them for gold. The gem sockets are gonna be, for the old gear, we're gonna be getting new gear. All right. And then for honor and conquest, you probably already know. Bloody tokens, you, you can spend them here, or you can spend them here, and this lady, or this guy, uh, has transmog for sale from the previous seasons. All right, so you can grab that if you're missing that. Oh, that's the wrong spot. And then, yeah, you can dump your honor, you can dump it for marks, you can dump it for uh, these gear if you want. You can dump your conquest, because it's all gonna reset. It's all gonna reset. There's boxes there for conquest. You can do the same thing with those. Buy them, wait till after reset and get money if you don't really need them for gear. So that's all the currency that's resetting. I talked about all the stuff going away. Uh, crafters, um, we're gonna be getting new crafting. Uh, the crafting season is gonna reset as well. So you may wanna stock up on items. You know, I need to stock up on, on some Draco Fist. You're gonna be seeing new evokers getting the legendary. Um, you're still gonna be people trying to go for the Farrakh legendary. That's gonna carry over. Um, so you can get ready for that. Season 3 Mog is changing. I have a whole video on that. Farm up any last minute Season 3 Mog. The the bloody coin gear <clears throat> converts to the LFR version. So, see here. Yeah, let me make sure you can actually see the armor. So, I'm trying to get the LFR version. So, I'm going to be doing the weekly quest. I can do LFR if I want. I could buy this gear and convert it to the LFR uh, version as well. If I have bloody tokens to drop, you know. You are still gonna be able to get all the different tier sets because we are gonna be going back into the raid, but this is the easiest point to get season three Mog, as far as I'm aware, unless depending on how what items convert to in season four because the PTR has been a little weird with it. You kind of want to try to finish up some of your season three stuff. If you're trying to get LFR that is with the weeklies um, or M plus, if you only M plus, this is going to be an easier way for you to do it. Um, depending on what class you are, I have a whole video on that. Um, last minute things. Dawn of the Infinite, because of the dungeon change, is going to get harder at its base level. So this week, get the hard mode achievement done. That's the uh, hard mode achievement where you don't die. Here, let's see. Does it show up in the journal? 
Yes, put that thing back where it came from. Within a single run, defeat all the bosses in the Dawn of Infinite and restore time. Restore the four time loss artifacts without any play, player dying. This is going to get slightly harder. Maybe not that harder. Depending on the scaling, it's going to be like a Mythic 10. Um, with the new dungeon scaling. Compared to what it is right now. So, if you got a group that's geared up, knock this out this week. You can reset it. You don't have to be able to get loot to complete this. You just have to do it correctly. So, if you're running it and someone dies, run out the instance, reset it. Go back in and try it again. Alright, you don't have to receive loot uh, to get it. And then, okay, so currently on the PTR, the time pods from time rifts, okay, I'm just trying to give everyone a heads up. So these time pods that you get for doing your weekly time rift, so you run a time rift, you always receive a, receive a time pod on your first one of the week, okay? These are not resetting, as far as we know. This isn't changing to a new item on the PTR. So you will be able to buy some adventurer level gear. It's a green uh, that you can buy, so it may not be worth that much, okay? So, but you may want to get a couple of these uh, on, on maybe like a lesser gear character. Because uh, it is like a 450 piece, I believe, on the PTR. So grabbing a time pod this week on a couple of characters that need gear may be a good idea. But here's the main thing. Listen up. Listen up. Okay. So the gear bought from him, which this is also the same currency, a cocoon. Okay. The gear bought from him. All right, and remember, you get a cocoon just by collecting 10 Dream Surge. The gear bought from him seems to be veteran gear. Okay, so that's like... 470, 480 on the PTR? Okay, I can't, I can't remember exactly, but it's veteran tier gear, which is tier convertible gear, by the way. And if these don't reset, this is the same item. So you may want to get this done this week on a character. I'm going to get it done on my Evoker before reset now. And then I'm going to get it done this week just in case. It could be a nice little upgrade. No, probably not for my Evoker because he's already decked out. But it is going to be nice to do. But here's the real kicker. Here's the real quick kicker, right? So... This gear on the PTR, again, says it's just 415. All right, on the PTR it says this is 415 gear. But when I bought it on the PTR, and I just wasted some coalescence here, and like it does right now this season, I click this gear. Oh, it is a 415, but it's not blue, okay? Next season, this gear on this resource that is not gonna reset, because it's already not reset before. Is 460. This gear for 100 coalescence is going to give you 460 item level gear. The thing will say 415. That's what it says on the PTR. But it gives me a different item. Like this says 415 here. It does give me 415. But it's a green item not a blue item. But I tested it on the PTR. I'll even show it off in a video later this week, but um, yeah. Farm up Dream Coalescence, it could be very beneficial. I wouldn't go crazy with it because it is just 460. And it converted to tier two. It converted to season two tier on the PTR, which is weird. And then you couldn't upgrade. More info on that later, but you may want to grab Dream Coalescence. So I'm going to be driving, grabbing Dream Coalescence, spending all my stuff, finishing up any title or 
achievements that you want to do before season three ends and get Dawn of the Infinite done. I got to get it done this week. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.